Trading Places is presented by... Half a day, I'm Sergeant Kinatsa Vanessa with the Signal 71st Signal Network Detachment with the Guam Army National Guard Trading Places with Nick Delgado. It was all too familiar being prior military, raising my right hand and swearing in, then transforming from a civilian to a soldier in the Guam Army National Guard. The Guard can be traced back to an organization known as the Guam Militia, first formed in 1771. It was disbanded in 1885 and re-established in 1917 by the U.S. Navy. A lot has changed over the years from the Guam Militia being a mandatory service only for young men to the voluntary service, including women, we have today. It was in 1980 the Guam National Guard finally came to fruition. There are 1,700 troops total, both air and army. After meeting a few of my fellow comrades, Sergeant Kanata then put me to work. Is it uh, challenging? Um, it's physically challenging, and actually it all depends on your MOS. Um, you know, th there are many MOSs. An MOS identifies the soldier's job. Kanata is a 25 uniform, which is signal support. The non-commissioned officer explains what a typical day for a guard member is like. We get up at, uh, our PT starts up at 0530, so for about an hour, then we go home, do personal hygiene, and depending on, the, uh, on your training schedule, what the mission is for the day, then that can be all day. I got the chance to participate in their annual training. Our mission today is to overcome the loss of communication around the island after being hit by a major typhoon. So there I was at times standing at parade rest while learning what operations I would be conducting. There was nothing classified, of course. The first military equipment I learned about is the very small aperture terminal, or VSAT. It sends the satellite up and okay. back down. It's a voice and a data, so we're able to get internet and call, but only, it's only you can only call VSAT to VSAT. This is if uh, there's no, the landline are not available. Okay. Uh, even with like cell phones, okay. you know, during typhoon or you know, uh, Mother Nature disaster or whatnot, what we're able to utilize this. Then it was my turn to get on the line that's set up at Homeland Security. Right. VSAT 3258, Private Nick Delgado. VSAT 3258. Hello, hello, hello. They can't hear me, but I can hear them. That, 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 that's probably the problem we're going through right now. So right now we're trying to troubleshoot okay. because they have another VSAT system set up down at Adaloop uh, in the event that all lines, communications go down in a natural disaster. And right now we're having problems connecting. We can hear them, but they can't hear us. So we're trying to troubleshoot uh, something that the signal team does in the National Guard to keep communications up around the island. We ran several comms checks to other sites, but still had problems reaching the VSAT only down at the governor's office. So with no luck, we head downstairs into the Emergency Operations Center where we check in with the troops operating the mothership of the network. Now I have to say these guys got really technical, but they explained to us how the line of sight between each satellite is key in order for communications to go without a hitch. Then we head back outside where I learn about the Guam Guard's largest antenna they have in stock, the HECOS, which means High Capacity Line of Sight. So give us a, an example, how far of a distance do you something like this reach um, as long is that... as you're able to receive uh, you know um, again the line of sight I mean if we can reach from here to Nick Taps it is is currently where we have it um, and our and we get clear clear voice the he close works on an FM frequency and the challenge is getting the right azimuth to communicate the antenna stands 15 meters high and takes some time to set up and break down depending on manpower. I also jumped into one of the Humvees to test my skills on the Blue Force tracker. It's another means of communication, sending and receiving instant text messages from a computer system set up inside. With all the technology, another challenge is working in all types of weather conditions. In this case, we were beating the heat. Uh, it takes getting used to. Um, I think it takes getting used to the heat. Obviously, you know, this uniform is pretty hot. Yeah, I'm yeah. drenched under this yeah. uniform. But it takes getting used to then you start to, start to adapt to it. Sergeant Kanata has been in the Guam Guard for the past six years. It's the training and discipline the Army instilled that made her the soldier she is today. She as the Guam Guard is most accommodating when it comes to taking care of the home front. But as a soldier, the mission is always essential. It's tough. It's tough to balance it with family, uh, you know. As a Guam, we're very family-oriented, you know, a lot of parties, and if drill happens during that time, then you can't make it. 
you know, um, because you're a soldier. We're here for Guam, that's you know, but we're Guam National Guard, so we're here for Guam. Should there be any disaster, typhoon, earthquake, whatever, you know, the governor says, um, we want to activate the Guam Army National Guard, then we're here for them. We're here for, for our island. I should mention the entire experience. I had troops questioning me about the length of my hair and unshaved face. That was before they realized I was only trading places for the day. Before turning over my green, Sergeant Kanata made sure I knew next time to follow the military's regulations. Okay, Kevin, Delgado, give me five push-ups. Five? Five. Five correct push-ups. Little lower, little lower, little lower. One, Sergeant. Hey, that's not a right push-up here. Two, Sergeant. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep your head up, keep your head up. Forward. Look forward, you gotta look oh. forward. Oh, sorry. Five, sorry. Recover. All right, Nick. This foot is pretty complicated, but you had to, only one day to absorb it. Overall, you did a good job. Back to you in the studio. Spirit of the wires, who? Huh? Trading Places is presented by...